Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Wyatt, and today I'll be teaching you how to script a quiz center on Roblox. Okay, so before I show you how to make this script, I just want to show you how it works. So all we have to do is go into the game, and as you'll see, our quiz center UI comes up, and if we click begin quiz, we get prompted with questions, and if we select the correct answers, we'll get ranked in the group. Okay, so now that you know what this script does, I actually want to show you how to make it. So the first thing that you need to do is go back to my previous video, it's going to be linked in the description, on how to script a group rank bot, because this is built on top of that. So this is a continuation of that video. This is something that you can do with the group rank bot. So follow that video and get the glitch URL at the end. I explain it there and copy that URL to your clipboard because we're going to need that for this project. So after you finish that, welcome back. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and now what we're going to do is actually create our quiz center using our auto ranking capability. So what I want you to do is if you go in the description, I have a link to a game. It's called Quiz Center and this is going to be the template that we're actually going to configure our quiz center in. So go to that link and then you're going to see three dots on the Roblox page. Click on those and then click edit and this is going to bring you into Roblox Studio. So if we go over to Studio, this is what's going to come up. Um, so in here we have a bunch of different objects in the Explorer and I know this might seem a little bit complicated but just follow along with me because I promise it's super easy if you just follow step by step. So the first thing we're going to do is come over here to Server Script Service and we have this finished application script right here. We're going to double click on that and it'll bring us into the script and there are three things that we need to configure for our application center to work. So the first one is wrong answers to fail, the second one is pass rank, and the third one is glitch URL. So the first one I'm going to go over is wrong answers to fail. All this means is the amount of answers that the user has to get incorrect to fail the application. So if we have 10 questions on our application and we want the user to get 7 answers correct or else they fail, then wrong answers to fail equals 3. This is the maximum amount of wrong answers the user can get before they fail the application. And the way we change this number is all we do is right here where it says 1, you just change that to 3, to 4, to 5, however many answers you want the user to have to basically get wrong or less before they fail. Uh, so right now I'm going to put this at 1 because my application center is going to be super strict. I only want them to be able to get one answer wrong. The rest they have to get right because I'm looking for top quality staff in my group. But you can set this to whatever you want. Uh, the next thing right here, the next variable is pass rank. This means they're very self-explanatory. It's the user's rank when they pass. So if they maybe, I have a trainee application center. This is going to be a trainee application. The rank ID in my group that I want the user to get ranked to is trainee and the rank ID for trainee is 2. So if I want the user to get ranked to trainee to rank 2 after they pass the application, I'm just going to type 2 right here. Maybe if I want them to get ranked to rank 4 or 5 or 6, you know, super easy. You just change that variable based on what the user you want them to get ranked to when they pass the application. Now the final variable is super important. This is probably the most important thing of the whole center because it actually has the auto ranking capability. And this is the glitch URL. So if you didn't already go back to the previous video on how to script a group rank bot, I suggest you go back to that because you're going to need to insert the glitch URL you got from that video in this field right here. And after you do that, all the auto ranking capabilities for this center will be set up. So after you do that, awesome, we are all done with the server script. Uh, and now you're probably wondering, Wyatt, how do I actually configure the questions and the answers? Uh, and I'm going to get into that right now, because that's probably the most important part of this application center. So as you'll see right here, if we go back into the game and you see we have this starter UI panel and then this quiz center UI right here. There's this quiz script underneath of us, and this is where we're actually going to specify our questions and our answers. So we want to double click on that script to open it up. And now we're going to have this variable up top, it's a dictionary, and it's called questions. Now in here, this is where we specify all of our questions, all of our answers, and the correct answer. So what we're going to do is right here, as you can see, I'm just going to delete the second one. You can leave it if you want, and I'm just going to show you from scratch how to insert all your questions and all your answers. So as you'll see, we have this table right under here, and right here, this is the number of the question. So if you want this to be question two or question three, you just set that. Uh, after this, you see right here, we have this first string. It says question one. This is whatever question you wanted to propose. So if we wanted to say, what is your name? Maybe that's the question. We edit this first value right here. 
The second value is the first answer, so the first choice that they can choose. So maybe if we wanted them to choose Bob, we could set Bob. Again, same thing with answer two, Wyatt. Answer three, George. And answer four, I don't know, maybe Robert. And those are our basically five variables inside of this that we have to have for every single question. Now what we need to do is actually say which one of these answers is correct. So we have what is your name, and we have Bob, Wyatt, George, and Robert. We want the second answer to be correct. So if the user's name is Wyatt, then they got this question right. So one, two, the number two, that's the second answer. So we're just gonna change this number right here to two. And as you'll see, all we have to do is if we head right into the game, and if we just click begin, we have to wait for it to load. If we click begin quiz, it now automatically asks that question. So we don't even have to do anything else. We just set that up. And when we select Wyatt, right, we got that answer right. So great work, we passed our application. Now, one question is pretty cool, but I'm sure you guys want to have more than one question in your quiz center. So I'm going to show you how to actually create multiple questions. So the way we're going to do that is right here before it says one, this left brace, all the way down to this final curly brace right here. You're going to highlight all that and then you're going to copy it. And then after that, you're going to click outside of it and put a comma and then press enter. And then you're going to paste what you just copied right down there. Now, this is the same question. We don't want that. We want to change what the question actually says. So the first thing we have to do is change this number in here to number two because it's the second question. And finally, we have to change these different parameters in here just as we did up top. So what is your name? I don't want that to be the question anymore. I want it to be what is your favorite food? And my answers are gonna be food one, food two, food three, and food four. And I want food four to be the correct answer. So one, two, three, four, four is the correct answer. So I'm gonna put four right here. And as you see, we can go in and we can test it once again it'll automatically insert the new question for us into our application center. So what is your name? My name is Wyatt. And what is my favorite food? I want to get this right, so I'm going to select food four, just like that. And great work, you passed your application. So that's how you configure questions. You can put as many of these as you want, but you just have to make sure you're always changing this number right here, and you're putting a comma right here, along with changing these fields based on what your questions and your answers are. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. I'll have the uncopy lock place template for this quiz center in the description and I'll see you guys later.